The fury in Venezuela has been on a slow build for years, but lately rising rapidly. Fuera Maduro! Fuera Maduro! Out Maduro, they say, leave or be thrown from office. Nicolas Maduro, the discredited president who began his second term in office this month. After elections widely condemned as rigged, with multiple countries, including Canada, now labeling his government illegitimate. The country itself is a wreck. On top of hyperinflation, shortages of food and medicine are so severe, it leaves countless now eating garbage to survive. This week, amid the chaos, a message on social media. Take to the streets, join us, the soldier urged Venezuelans, but the armed men were quickly subdued by government forces. Hola, I'm Mike Pence. Today, the, vice the U.S. The vice president States. sent this message directly to the people of Venezuela, pledging unwavering American support. Nicolas Maduro is a dictator with no legitimate claim to power. Pence urged Venezuelans to make their voices heard at demonstrations planned for tomorrow. Estamos con ustedes. We are with you. Y nosotros también. Venezuela's vice president, Delcy Rodriguez, quickly shot back. Yankee, go home. Slamming Pence for, as she put it, openly calling for a coup d'etat. Tonight, word Maduro has ordered, quote, a total revision of Venezuelan relations with the U.S. The question now, what will happen at those demonstrations tomorrow as the world watches and the country braces? Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.